of my beautiful YouTube people uh, from all over the world. It's, it's always exciting to look at my stats and see people from literally all over the world uh, joining in for our conversation. But today, uh, I wanted to, to kind of share something, not game dev related, but um, something that I've just kind of been noticing. I mean, uh, maybe this is something that you've read about in some self-improvement books or, um, I don't know, online articles or whatever. But I've been noticing this in my life, not reading about it, but noticing it and and really paying attention, I think. I, it's really kind of opened my eyes to some things. Uh, and that's the fact that people change. They change. They grow. They learn. Um, sometimes they're not the same person they were a year ago, two years ago, five years ago. Uh, I'm certainly not. I am absolutely uh, not anywhere near uh, the person I was uh, a couple years ago. Um, now, I have some of the same tendencies, right? I have the same personality. I have the same uh, likes, dislikes sometimes. Not always, but but uh, a lot of them are the same, you know? Um, but a lot of us think that we change, that we evolve, that we grow... We, we forget that other people do, too. And as a result, I think a lot of us, um, because of the way that our brain works, we loop people into a box. We say, this person is that, right? That's how our brains are designed. They're designed as pattern recognizers. Um, every time you see a car, you know that it's a car. You know you can lump it into the same category as all the cars you've ever seen. And so really quickly, at a glance, you can assess the threat level of what that thing is <laughs> versus seeing a car for the first time every time and wondering, like, what the hell is this thing? Four wheels, has an engine, it's loud. You know what I mean? Like, you can instantly recognize it as a car. We do the same thing with people. We just say, hey, this person is asshole. This person is spammer. This person is, uh, you know, whatever. And we loop people into those boxes and then we don't ever give them second chances. Um, it's one of the reasons why, you know, they always say the first impressions are everything, right? Because uh, a lot of times, and this, there's been studies on this, that actually the first five to 10 seconds that someone meets you is going to be their imprint of you forever. Not just temporarily, not just for the next six months, and then you get to form a new one. No, that's, that's it. That's, that's what you get. So, you know, for me, I've, I've had to kind of make a conscious effort uh, to give people second chances, to uh, see if they've changed, to um, maybe talk to people that I otherwise wouldn't talk to, uh, maybe reach out to people that, um, for whatever reason, you know, we weren't a good fit a couple years ago. Um, now, there are certainly people that don't fit this mold, right? Like, I have friends uh, from high school that are literally, like, the working the same jobs, same person, same thing, posting the same things on Facebook, uh, just no evolution, no drive, no desire to go anywhere. That always blows my mind. But, you know, I've got a lot of friends, too, also from high school that surprise me that, um, you know, maybe we've we've hung out uh, a little bit and maybe I have friends that I haven't really talked to or hung out with in a long time. And then I hang out with them and I realize, wow, I really like this person, you know, like more in a different, more adult way than I guess I did as a kid because or I always wonder what as a kid where where does kids start and end we're all just giant kids that have grown up and we uh we secretly don't tell anybody that what we're just kids in adult bodies but no but for real like second chances are one of those things like and and i always with me and my past and the people that i've interacted with um especially some abusive people some people that 
don't change, some people that would like to manipulate me and keep me down and, and do all that stuff. Um, some of the people that I've, you know, shared time with, I know what that's like to, to be hardwired one from, you know, anatomically, mentally to, uh, put people in boxes, but also from, you know, uh, patterns of interacting with people on, on how you can learn that to, to run away from people that, um, aren't, aren't good for you. Um, which is something I've done, I've had to do a lot, unfortunately, <laughs> but I just, I wanted to reiterate to you today that sometimes people change and sometimes people are not the same people that they were the first time you met them or the first time they formed an impression on you. And a lot of times we can judge people through lenses, through lenses of Facebook posts or Twitter tweets or Instagram pictures. Um, and we can, for, for better or for worse, we can sort of develop this understanding of who they are, which is a false understanding because you're looking at a curated uh, view, again, for better or worse. They can be making their life look better or they could only focus on the negative. For whatever it is, social media kind of eliminates the real life and gives you their curated version, whatever they want you to see. Um, but just, you know, if, if you've got people in your life that uh, you've looped in that box and, you know, maybe it's been a couple of years, maybe it's been some time, hit them up, see how they're doing. Maybe they haven't changed. Maybe they're the same old person, uh, but maybe they have. And especially people are, they have a growth mindset. They have this mindset of uh, constantly improving and, and wanting to move forward. You can make a lot of progress in a very little amount of time. Uh, you know, it just takes that desire. It just takes that, that, um, want to move forward and, and, and step forward. Uh, and I've been pleasantly surprised, I gotta say, uh, recently with some of the people I've interacted with and it's, it's good. That feels good, man, to like see other people they're doing well, that they're improving, that they're moving forward with their life, that they're getting past some of the things that have stopped them that um, they left behind some of their baggage. They left behind some of the, the stuff that held them back for a long time. So it was good to see. And um, I want to encourage you to, to just have an open mind with people. Um, obviously, there's a whole negative side to this. There, there are abusive people. There are manipulative people. So, you know, safeguard yourself and be careful who you let in your life. But the people that are worth it, man, um, they're worth second chances. So... I, uh, I hope you found that useful. If you've got a story like this where you gave someone a second chance or something, share it down below. I would love to hear from you. Um, but, you know, once again, I'm Tim Russwick, and I won't see you tomorrow, but you'll see me, maybe. See you then.